Today, we expect to learn new details about what led to the death of a man in Raleigh police custody. Daryl Williams died last week outside a sweepstakes parlor on Rock Quarry Road. WRL's Laura Levine is live at the Raleigh Police Department with what its five-day report could reveal. Laura, good morning. Good morning, Renee. Right now we are live outside police headquarters because at some point today we are expected to get some questions answered. And many of those questions are surrounded around the moments and minutes leading up to how Daryl Williams died in police custody. Many family members, community members hoping that this report provides some clarity. Now, 32-year-old Daryl Williams died after a Raleigh police officer deployed a taser on him. Right now it is unclear how many times that taser was used and for how long. Now, the taser was used after police say he uh, resisted arrest last Tuesday and ran away from officers into the woods. This happened near a sweepstakes parlor on Rock Quarry Road. He was handcuffed, but later became unresponsive. Raleigh police plans to release that five-day report to the city manager today. And the five-day report typically provides a detailed narrative and timeline of events. WRL did confirm that the officers involved were wearing body cameras. Right now, we are still working to learn if that footage will be released. Laura Levine, WRL News, live in Raleigh.